Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Jackie's Crafty Time. Um, it is September 24th and it is almost 9 p.m. right now, so I thought I would come on here, do a little whip and chat. Excuse me, I thought I was going to yawn, I am going to yawn. I am so sorry. It's literally like I just hit start and that started. Okay, anyways, so I'm working on my Diamond Art Club um, Bubble Bubble Chocolate Trouble. I'm going to love when I don't have this one because I feel like I say bubble really weird. Anyways, that's the one I'm working on by Randall Spangler. I love the little draglings. We're getting right to their eyes here. Oh, 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 don't, don't go. Why are you doing that? Don't go blurry on me. Okay, sorry, I'm just checking to make sure. Um, we're getting to the dragon's eyes. I just got the hats done. I am loving everything about it. So super cute. So the pen I'm using is a rainbow kind of watercolor type pen from Diamond Pens. Um, any cover minders that you can see, I don't know if you can see any, are all from Amy. Um, over at Sensible by Design. Um, sorry, I'm just, <laughs> you can hear my child talking and I don't know who he's talking to. Anyways, um, what am I gonna say? Hmm. Okay, sorry, this is super distracting. If you can hear him rambling in the background, sorry. Cover minders are by Amy. That's all linked below. I'm using my peppermint uh, wax in my single placer and Fruit Loops. I think it was Fruit Loops. Did we decide it was Fruit Loops? What did we decide? I don't think we decided it was Fruit Loops, did we? <sighs> yes, it is. Because I thought it was unicorn poop and it's not. It's Fruit Loops. Okay, Fruit Loops putty. In my multi placer. So, yes, today is the 24th. I am going to tell you that my son, who I just said I heard rambling, has turned 13 today. Oh my god, send help, I have a teenager. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not okay with it. I can tell you that right now. I'm not okay. The minute I seen him this morning and he was like, I'm a teen now. I was like, okay, no, you're not. Not allowed. What? Where did you come from? Look, I have like a... Can you guys see that? Excuse my nails. They're a mess too because I went back to picking them and I'm working on it. It's not going to show, but I have like a gray diamond stuck in my putty. Did I pick that up from somewhere? Or... Hmm. Okay, into the trash bowl you go. Oh, also my tray down here is also from Amy. Pretty much all of my little doodads and things are all from Amy. <laughs> I have quite the collection. I love all of her stuff. It works really well for me. Um, like I said, I will have her Facebook page and Etsy sh shop uh, linked down below. I just thought I was doing the wrong color and I just about had a heart attack. Okay, so back to my child. Uh, yes, he turned 13. So I thought that I would do kind of a recap of like, kind of like his birth story or like, you know, one of those type of videos. So like when he's older and I'm feeling like nostalgic, I'd be like, oh, let's go watch mama's YouTube video about your birth. I'm pretty sure I've covered it before, but why not refresh it, right? Right. So let's go back 13 years. Um, well, let's go back even further. I had been with my husband, who was just my boyfriend at the time, for seven years um, before we had my son. And... Sorry, I'm going to get a drink and then I'm going to find my next color and then I'll 
get back to the story. I think I'm going to do this arrow though, because I want to get this house done. And I think I can flip her around. Yeah, I should be able to. Okay. Um, the arrow, what number are you? So I, I don't love working upside down. I do it, but I don't love it. Oh my goodness. Sorry. I have like this really intense. I felt like something was eating my ankle off. Okay. So where are we at? Oh yes. Boyfriend who I love. Um, yeah. So we were dating seven years and um, you know how like you're kind of like, oh, like I love him, he's the best, and want to get married, and I think after seven years you're pretty comfortable with somebody, uh, right? That's quite a bit. So we had never really discussed kids per se, and it's funny because I had always thought, you know what, I definitely want like three kids because that's what my mom had and I don't know why three was always my number I was like three I could do great with three no way after Addison my second one no more kids I'm getting ready to call the doctor as soon as like next week starts and get that taken care of no more kids for me no way not happening she has scarred me from children anyways back to Alex this is not the Addison story you get that story in March um so my husband has, you know, he didn't really want kids. He wasn't like, it wasn't like a, a deal, deal breaker, obviously, because he's still here. And he's like the greatest dad ever to the kids. So anyways, he liked cars, right? That's, you know, that's his thing. He liked having a new car, so he would lease them and he would always have a new car. Well, when I found out, okay, before I found out I was pregnant, he was telling me, he's like, oh my God, he had a, a Chevy Cobalt and he's like, oh my God, they're going to come out with the new Camaros and that's my car. I'm getting that car. I'm so excited. And I was like, yeah, I get that car. That's awesome. Camaros are gorgeous, blah, blah, blah. Super excited. And I had feeling, I don't know, I had been feeling like just off. Like, you know how you know something's wrong, but you're just like, it's not wrong, but like, you know, something's different. Something's going on in your body. Like, so I went to the doctor and cause I didn't want to pay for a pregnancy test. Um, I just moved my whole canvas. I don't have it clipped on here. So it's like really wobbly. Can you guys even see what I'm doing? Can you see right here? Okay. Yeah. Shout if you cannot see me. Okay. You know what? I'm going to have to clip it because it's like wobbling all over on me. Okay, stop. Why aren't you working tonight? Just, just please. Did I move you guys way out now? Hmm. Okay. Let's just zoom you out a smidge. Okay. So I had went to the doctor, like I said, I did not want to pay for a pregnancy test. I know, I know that's terrible. Like what, they're what, $10 at the time? I don't know. I didn't want to do it. And I worked right across the road from the doctor's office. So I was like, I'm just going to walk in there. I told the receptionist, you know, can I get a pregnancy test? Blah, blah, blah. She said, yeah, sure. Go in there, pee in the cup, whatever. Do that. Come back. Go in the room. Wait. Doctor comes in and he's like, yeah, it's, it's positive. And I don't know. I don't know what my face looked like <laughs> because like, the doctor sort of like, was like, oh, no, 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 like, no, no, it's okay. Like, it's okay. Like, there's options. Don't worry. Like, and I kind of was like, what? Like, what are you, what are you talking, option? What? I was like, no, there, there's no option. Like, it's, it's mine. It's, I don't, I think my face just kind of was like, oh crap. How am I going to tell my boyfriend? And, uh, yeah, so I left and then I went over to. Um, Tim Hortons, because <laughs> that's the best place to go to call your boyfriend. And I called him from the bathroom and I was crying on the phone because like it's just, it's hard to explain. Like it wasn't a planned thing. It was a surprise and it was, you know, so it was shocking and I didn't know how he was going to take the news. So I'm crying and I'm telling him like, you need to come pick me up. I need to talk to you. It's important. And he's like, 
no, like, just tell me that. What's wrong? What's going on? Obviously, when your girlfriend calls you hysterically crying, you're going to be concerned. I didn't think that through. I was just like, no, 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 you need to come. And he was like, getting up, like, you know, you need to tell me right now. Like, what is happening? Like, what is going on? Are you okay? Like, so then I'm in the bathroom. This little old lady is like, are you okay, huh? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Like, I just need to talk to my husband, well, boyfriend at the time. I'm going to just say husband because seven years we were common law married anyways. So, um, yeah, I was like, no, no, I'm fine, ma'am. Like, I just need to talk to my husband. And so he's like, you need to tell me what, like, what is wrong? Are you okay? Like, what's going on? So I finally, I just tell him, I'm like, look. I'm pregnant and he's like um are you sure and I was like uh yeah the doctor told me so I'm pretty sure he knows for sure like I had you know the hundred percent like yeah you are like <laughs> and then I, he just got really silent on the phone which made me super worried even more and um then <laughs> And then he kind of just let me go. And then I just started crying again in the Tim Hortons bathroom because I wasn't a hundred percent sure like what happened. I was like, wait, did he just let me go? Like, did he just, did he just hang up? Like what's going on? So, um, I went, went home and funny enough, my mom was at a baby shower. Well, I had called her and told her she needs to come home. I have to tell her something. And, you know, it's important. She needs to come home. So she left this baby shower to come home. And I'm sitting on the couch. I'm waiting for her. And uh, she comes in. And, I, and, you know, there's... I don't know. I didn't have any way to really say it. Because I am I was my mom's baby, right? I was the last one. So uh, it was it was very difficult. Like... So I told her, I just, I blurted it out. I was like, uh, well, I'm pregnant. <laughs> and she was like, oh, it, it, she didn't say anything. She didn't really, she just, honest to God, she got up and left. Went back to the baby shower. So now two people I've told I'm pregnant to. Nothing, like no, no thing. <laughs> like, so I'm just kind of sitting there like, great this is awesome this is the worst day of my life like um it was a lot of emotions that first like you know and then like I don't know it was yeah it was it was it was a lot going on I missed a cross there dang it I did that one at like six in the morning that's probably why I missed it um so yeah so she left so then I'm just like all right great awesome told all these you know my two most important people I've told them and not sure about the reactions to be honest so we I wasn't living with my husband at the time um, I was still living with my mom because I didn't want to leave her I had that like uh, the guilt of like I was the last kid and I didn't want her to be alone and I wanted to stay there and she probably wanted me to get out and leave like just go away leave me alone but I had that problem where I was like, no, no, I can't leave, whatever. So I literally stayed with my mom um, throughout, like, pretty much my whole pregnancy. And part of that was because my husband lived with his parents um, because we were saving money and everything at the time. And, sorry, I can't, I'm just trying to fill in these, like, little, little amounts that are around... Um, so he lived as parents, but his parents had like an upstairs that had three bedrooms, a bathroom of its own and a staircase and everything. And then we would, uh, eventually when I moved in there, we would share the kitchen. So I had moved in right like the week end that I was getting induced for our, my son. Um... Which, yeah, I don't know. I just, I didn't want to leave my mom. I was very upset to leave my mom. Like, I was, I don't know, hormonal. I was irrational about it. Like, it was, I was a mess. Put it that way. So, anyways. So, I tell them both, pregnant, whatever. I find out, like, later on, probably like a year or two later, 
my husband's mom actually told me that he was really excited that when he hung up with me, he called her and told her like, you know, we're, we're going to have a baby, like, which is like amazing news to hear, right? Like after you think all this time, you're like, oh, he was probably really upset. Like when I told him, um, <laughs> but the funny thing is it was like, you know, he had, he had waited all this time for a Camaro and then it was like, you you can't get the Camaro, honey. Like, you, you, where are you going to put a baby? So he never got his Camaro, unfortunately. Maybe one day when the kids are grown. Um, so yeah, so I told my mom that. but And then, so once everybody's all good with it, you know, we're, we're having the baby, we're excited. Um, then we got to think of names. Now, my husband's name, I'm not going to give you his name, um, but my husband's name is like a family name. Like it's the, he's a third, like his dad is senior, his, her, his dad would be a junior, his grandpa is a senior, so my husband would be da, 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 the third. So we found out it was a boy. Um, let me backtrack that. I'm just going to check my time because I don't want to go too crazy long on this one. Um, we found, we were talking about like, okay, do you, you know, do you want a boy? Do you want a girl? And my husband right away was like, I want a girl. And I was like, really? Like, you don't want like a little buddy, like a dude, you know, a little dude for you? And he's like, nope. He goes, I want a girl. So, okay, well, I, you know, <laughs> there's not much I can do to help that. It is what it is. Apparently, like, there's nothing you can do. But I will tell you that I knew that he was a boy from the minute, like I had feelings about it, 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 I always felt it was a boy. And when we went to the ultrasound to find out, um, the, the lady was like, oh, like, do you want to know? Like, do you want to know what it is? Oh my God, like so excited. And I was like, oh yeah, go get my husband. Like he's in the waiting room with the hat, blah, blah, blah. So she <laughs> went and got him. And she told us, she's like, okay, so like, there's the baby's hands, there's the baby's blah, blah, blah. And then she's like, and there's his, you know, stuff. And then she kind of was like, it, his, like, it's a boy. And I was like, yeah. And I don't know what my, again, I don't know what my husband's face looked like because I was just on the table. Like, you know, you got all the jelly on your stomach and you're a mess. And he just kind of walked out, but like he walked out to go let my mom know who was in the waiting room. Like, it's a boy. Like, you know, we just found out. Blah, blah. So the, na the nurse, the ultrasound technician lady um, was like, is, is he okay? Like, is it, is it, like, is it okay? And I was like, why? Like, what do you mean? Is he okay? Did he look mad? Like, what's going on? Like, what? And then I said, well. I said he really wanted a girl like he really really wanted a girl and I always I said I had a feeling it was a boy but I never said anything um which was fine with me he's my little he's my little sweetheart my little little man even though he's not little anymore he's huge oh he's 13 oh my god so anyways yeah so we find out it's a boy and you know how like you have to pick a name right like you did nobody tells you I seen this on Facebook like obviously when I was pregnant with my son but it's like you're thinking of names baby names whatever you don't realize how many names of people that you dislike or you can't use or until you try to name a tiny human so when it came to naming Alex it was I you know I love this name oh wait remember that you know so and so and yeah no it was the most stressful time so I had like a page a page and a half probably of like names that I loved I love these weird I you know what they're not weird everybody else told me they're weird but I love them the name that I really wanted Alex to have was Finnegan I don't know what it is about that name that's not the right symbol oh yes it was You guys even see what I'm doing? Is it blurry? Stop doing that. Um, was 
Finnegan, and I love, love that name. I don't know what it is about that name. Um, I'm saying um a lot, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna try and stop. But I had Finnegan, I had Kai, I had like Hunter, I had, I had all of these like, you know, not, not your typical like names of kids that you would see. So then I called my husband and I was like, yeah, you know, the right thing to do is to give you the option to name the baby if you want to pass on your name. Like if that's, obviously he's passing on his last name to the baby, but like if he wanted to make the baby a fourth in the line of his names. And right away my husband was like, no, that name dies with me. Like, because <laughs> he doesn't love his name, so... I, but I did. I gave him the option. So then I um, I was like, okay, well, we, we got to think of a name for this, this kid, you know, like <laughs> he's going to be here soon. It's kind of a thing that we got to do. So we went back and forth. I gave him my list. He didn't have a list. He's like, no, I'm not making a list. And I was like, okay, that's making it a little harder, but sure. So then he, uh, he called me one day. And he was like, hey, what about the name Alexander? And I was like, Alexander, okay, it's, you know, that's a name. I said, okay, add it to your list. Like, you know, we'll, we'll go over it this weekend when I'm over. We'll, we'll go back and forth on the names and we'll trade lists and see what we like, you know. And he's like, no, that, that is my list. That's it. So I was like, oh, okay. And then uh, he was like, yeah, that that's all I like. And I was like, okay, well, all right, well, we'll go through my list then. And one of the other top names that I really loved, um, for a boy was Aiden. Drink break. Hold on, kids. Excuse me. What's the name? Aiden. And... He didn't love the name Aiden, but it was okay. So then he was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to ask the girls at my work. We're going to do a quiz, like a, not a quiz. What's it called? Um, a poll. He's like, I'm going to take like a poll, a vote on it and see. Like, what's everybody like? Well, apparently it was a tie there. And then I said, you know what? Why don't we just do both names? Like, Alexander could be his first name. Aiden could be the middle. I said, then we both, you know, we both have um, a part in naming him. I said, and I kind of wanted my husband to pick his name because, you know, he wanted a girl, but this was a boy. He wanted a Camaro, but he got a Journey. Like, <laughs> well, he got a Jeep before he got the Journey, but, you know. So I was like, you know what? <laughs> you can have the name. And he couldn't be any more of an Alex like, there is no other name that would fit that kid. He is an Alex through and through. And I remember telling my OB when he asked, like, oh, is it a boy, a girl? Like, you guys have names? Like, and I said, yeah, it's, you know, it's a boy. We're going to name him Alexander. And he's like, that's a strong name. That's a good name. You know, I haven't heard that one in a little bit. And blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, really? Like, there's, and there's not many times, like, in his classes even that he, that he has, like, two Alex's or something so so we pick the name now where are we okay so let's get to um so I'm living my husband has his dad and then his dad remarried so he has a stepmom and then his mom remarried and he has a stepdad too so yeah it's a whole thing so his stepdad's son um, his wife was pregnant as well. So we're like, oh, cool. Like they're going to be close in age because she was due at the end of October and I was due September 12th. Um, obviously you can see by it being September 24th, he was not ready on September 12th, nor was he ready on the 24th either, but we got him out. Um, yeah, so I keep going to my appointments, you know, I'm past due, I'm uncomfortable, and I'm like, look, we need to get this baby, like, out, like, out now. So my OB is like, well, I'm going to be out of the office for the weekend. Um, if you want, we can schedule you for 
uh, induction or induce thing for Monday. And, you know, we'll do it then. And I said, yeah, it sounds great. Let's do that. Because Monday would have been the 23rd. And with all the brothers, cousins, whatever, it would have lined up everybody's birthday. There's a lot of birthdays in September. So I was like, yeah, 23rd. Good day. Awesome. Well, Alex had other plans for that. I went in to labor, or I went in to the hospital at, I want to say like 7 in the morning, like something ridiculously early. And they started the labor and the pains and all of that. And yeah, so I had labor all day, um, contractions all day, everything, all of it, all, all of that. And Alex was not born. Um, okay, I'm skipping ahead. So, so I go to the hospital, get induced, you know, they break the water, um, you lay there, you wait, they come in, they check you, they're like, oh no, you're not dilated, you're not doing anything, just hang out, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, really? That's, that's it? That's all the advice I get right now? Like, that's, that's not, that's not what I want to hear. Like, you know, like when you're laying there, you're like, tell me the baby is here. Tell me the baby is coming. Like, um, so yeah, so we're laying there waiting, waiting, waiting all day. And then my father-in-law, my husband's dad shows up because obviously Alex was the first grandkid. So everybody's excited with his new wife. And then my husband's stepdad's there. Sorry, I had to think about what color I'm looking for. Okay, I found it. Um, my husband's stepdad's there. Like, so the exes are all there. They all get along. It's not like there was like a brawl in the maternity ward or anything. So they're all there. And then I'm just like, I'm waiting. Been there all day. I haven't eaten all day because you can't eat because I got an epidural. And like, yeah, no, it, it wasn't great. So um, this nurse who like bless her heart she's just trying to do her job but like yeah so this nurse is like okay what you're gonna do is we're gonna get you up on these bean bags and you know that'll that'll help dilate you because we're gonna have you get up on the bean bags and the gravity I don't know pull the baby right out who knows I have no idea so <laughs> they're like okay so you know you gotta go they tell my husband like go step out and we'll tell you when she's done whatever well well let me tell you let me tell you my dear husband took it upon himself to go with his father to the restaurant right 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 by the freaking ho the the hotel not a hotel I was at the hospital yeah. 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 Okay. When I can tell you that when he came back in and he was so proud of himself and he looked at me in the face and said, oh my God, hun, you will never believe how good the chicken delight, which is like a famous wrap thing at this restaurant and around here, how good their chicken delight sandwich is. Oh my, like it is amazing. And I gave him I must have gave him like you're gonna die look because the nurse was like oh honey you, you need to step out like <laughs> and I was like did you did you go eat I've been laying in this bed trying to birth our child and you went out to eat <laughs> and he was like yeah like they said like you're gonna be in here a while doing whatever you're doing like you know I can't I was so mad like I can't even I can't even express how mad I was because it was just, I was like, no, even now I'm still mad about it. 13 years later, still mad. I will hold on to that. Um, yeah. So then I don't even know what time we're at. We're probably getting to like, what's the nurse? It was like the nurse change time where they switch shifts. And I think they do like 12 hour shifts. So I want to say it was close to 11. And the nurse was like, I got to switch, but like, you know, you're not dilating. We're going to have to start the papers. You're going to have to get a C-section. And I was like, no, I'm not. 
and she was like hun like you you do like you're gonna have to like it's it's just what's gonna be and I was like I'm not doing that so you can start all the papers you want not doing it like I was terrified to have to do that um I was already terrified enough just being in a hospital I don't know why I tipped that upside down it's an H either way oh my brain um yeah, so she's like, no, no, you, like, we already broke the water, the babies, you know, you gotta get them out. And I was like, I know, but we, you know, we will. So then, by this point, like, they've had the, the students come through and check me if I'm dilated. I didn't care at that point. I was like, I don't care who does it or who figures it out, but somebody figure out how to get this kid out of me. Like, but not by C-section, because I was terrified of that. <laughs> so, um... I ended up, I was allowed to have ice chips, but they were upsetting my stomach. I don't, like, that doesn't make sense, right? It's just water. I don't know. So I would get, like, you know how, like, you you feel like you're going to throw up and you kind of, like, do that, like, gag kind of thing? Sorry if this is gross for anyone. Warning. Um, so I was doing that, and I found out, like, every time I do, like, the gag thing, I would dilate another centimeter. So I was like, oh my God, I like told my husband, I was like, go get me more ice chips, like right now, like go get me two cups full of them, like right away. So yeah, I literally did that till I was dilated enough. And then the lady was like, okay, you're, you're ready. Like you, you can push, let's go. So I, I was like, okay, pushing, pushing, um, or no, sorry, before pushing, I have to fast forward to the ice chips. I was Wally, or yeah, my, my father-in-law, stepfoot, no, sorry, ice chips came from my father-in-law, yes, my step, my husband stepped up, yes, sorry, had to, I had to revisit the hospital there in my head, um, yeah, so as he's, he brings more, he comes in and says that my husband's stepbrothers at the hospital and I was like oh my god like what happened is he okay like oh no and then um <laughs> they said his wife is there and she's in labor she's in like active late and I was like what are you like no that's no I was like not fair this is not her day like not okay well it wasn't my day either because we were past midnight and still no baby so she was down on the other end all of their exes and everything were all down on that end and it was like a madhouse like they were running end to end well she ended up having um, Alex's cousin 15 minutes before I had Alex so okay so Gracie's born her name's Gracie um and I'm still pushing I'm trying like I can't figure this why won't this baby come out like what's going on what's wrong with me and we're you know we're trying everything and this nurse comes in and when babies are born they're they're facing down like their face is facing down well Alex was facing up so she came in and she looks and she goes huh she goes he's facing the wrong way and I was like oh my god what like I thought he was breached like coming out feet first and I was like oh my god are you serious like oh no and she's like no he just turned so she literally turned him and a couple pushes and he was out because when he was stuck like when I was pushing and they before they turned him they were they were like we're gonna have to use the vacuum and I was like no we're not doing that and she's like no ma'am like we're gonna have to to get him out and I was like no I don't want that so <laughs> they uh they turned him they got him out and he was great like he was a little jaundiced but like not as much as Addison was and they just cooked him in the little light thing I always say cooked them like not literally cooked them nobody nobody say that down in the comments because like come on now they just put the little light thing on him in the salad bar thing that they sit him in and he was good so that is the story of mr alex coming into the world but yeah he's he's my little buddy he's honestly he's honestly like he's a sweetheart he has the kindest kindest heart he is just, he is just awesome, let me tell you.
I did something right with that one. Time will tell if I did it right with Addison too, but we, we don't know. Right now she's little and she likes to torment everybody in the house. I shouldn't say that too loud because she's sleeping. <laughs> She'll hear me and come for me. Okay, I am just about finished this section, guys. I'm super excited. Oh, you can see his eyes. Look at him. Look at him looking at you. So cute. So, yeah, the kids were born the same day, 15 minutes apart. So, <sighs> yeah, it was a mess in the hospital, but, like, I don't know. Once, once you know, obviously everybody's like, oh, once they're here. Yeah, once they're here, it's all good. But, like, I was just super exhausted. And I remember, because um, I stayed five days with Alex in the hospital, I think. No, no, no. Three days with Alex. Um, because of that time, that's what the standard thing was. And my husband couldn't get the time off work. So... He was saving it till we came home with the baby. Um, so I was at the hospital by myself a lot of the times. And the one time, like, I just, I just had a baby. Like, literally. And I remember I fell asleep and this nurse came in and, like, yelled at me. She's like, oh, my God. Like, because I was holding him. And she's like, we had a mom, like, drop her baby. Oh, my God. How could you? And I was like, man, okay. Literally just closed my eyes. Sorry. I said, but like, I'm exhausted. And then there was like a sweet little nurse that would like take him up to like the nurse thing because um, I wasn't able to breastfeed. Sorry, again, if there's any like people that are like, ew, talking about boobies and milk. Anyways, I tried. I tried really hard to do it. I could not, could not. I got maybe a bottle out for each of my kids and that was it. Like they just wouldn't work. Um, so I could not do it, but I had to switch them to bottles. But the benefit of that was the nurses were like, Hey, do you want me to take him up to like the nurse's station? He's so cute. Oh my God. And I was like, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I do. I was like, he's good. He has his little alarm on. Like he, it's fine. Bye. Like, and then she would take him up there and like, bathe them and bring them back. It was awesome. I love that nurse. One minute, guys. Okay, I'm gonna go because my daughter just woke up. I know this is a really quick ending, but I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!